The second app that I found through Common Sense Media was the Arlu Chemistry app. And the Arlu Chemistry app, the home screen, yes, I want to click the exercise. Uh, this is a download that does cost $2.99, so I see using it more as a remediation tool as a teacher or a tutoring tool rather than having students um, be required to purchase it. But there are some great exercises. Um, there's practice, there's exercises. Um, and the thing that I really like about this is it looks at naming and it looks at formulas. And this is an area that um, chemistry students seem to struggle with until they kind of get it. And so let's say we're, say we're doing some naming. Um, my students do not know IO24, so we're going to go to the next one. So we're going to skip that compound. I'm going to say yes. I'm going to skip that one too. Um, but this is mercury nitride, and mercury would have a 2 plus charge, so this would be mercury 2 nitride. And if I'm right, it'll go to the next one. And this looks like telluril, tel, tel, tellurium oxide, and so we're going to go with tellurium oxide. This is iron 2 hydroxide. Um, this is water or dihydrogen monoxide. Um, so um, this is phosphorus sulfide. Uh, we usually don't give it a number, but um, we'll do phosphorus 1 sulfide. Um, this is phosphorus acid. Uh, or hydrogen phosphite. Um, so I don't really like um, those choices. So yes, I want to skip that. This is lead to oxide, uh, one of the most commonly missed questions on a test. So, um, so that kind of gives you an idea there. If we go back home again, and yes, I want to quit that exercise. And then, and this time, I'm going to look at. Um, writing the formula for something. And this is kind of fun because you can go, uh, we have to create sulfur trioxide. So that's going to be made out of sulfur. And our sulfur will have a two minus charge and oxi or, uh, oxygen will also have a two minus charge. And I need uh, three oxygens. And so I can check to see if my formula is um, right by combining them? Nope, incorrect. It tells me that the oxidation number of the element on the left is incorrect. So um, I don't know if I can fix that or not, but we'll go to the next one, so we'll skip it. Create ammonia. Um, I'm gonna take a nitrogen, uh, and I can have all kinds of oxidation numbers of nitrogen. Nitrogen, I think, is a three minus. Um, uh, hydrogen, one plus, I need three of them. I'll try this one. Ah, okay, uh, I've made ammonia. I can create iodine three chloride. And so that's gonna be iodine. And it tells me it's three, so it must be a three plus. And uh, chlorine will be a one minus and I need three of them. So we'll try and combine that. Um, tin 4 bromide. It's going to be made out of tin, and it's tin 4, so it's a 4 plus. And then bromine um, is a 1 minus, and uh, we need four of those. So um, just kind of a great tool to uh, let students visually sort of see what that looks like, as well as practice naming and formula writing, a key, key tool for success in chemistry.